to make a quick buck, you'll burn out. You mentioned one word, and this word comes up a lot um, in every area, uh, everyone we talk to, and that is the word why. That seems to me to be the key to everything. It is. If you don't have a big enough why, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Whether you're, do whether you're an athlete, you have a why. There's a goal that you're shooting for. You know, if, if you have to have a big enough why. If you don't have that, you're never going to succeed in anything. And it, is, and it is common. It doesn't matter what, the, what company you're promoting. Everybody has, but everybody has a different why. That's the one thing that I can't, get, I can't get into someone's head and create for them. They have to create it on, on their own. My why is going to be different than your why, than, than, than the next guy. And my passion is I really li like helping people. You know, my goal is to create 1,000 millionaires. So that, you know, that's what drives me. And I, I've been there, done that. I've been on both sides of the coin. And you know, I tell people in our other videos, and our training videos, that over the years I've really realized that there, there's really only two types of people. There's those that are rich and those that are poor. You know, which one do you want to be? And I got to tell you, I've been poor. It's a lot nicer being rich. <laughs> you, I've looked at Downline University. It's um, it's it's a piece of work. A lot of work went into that, it's a and, lot of work. And, I, and I know, looking at your background, that you have a, a tremendous background in the internet. One of the first people to create uh, uh, to create a network in this beautiful area that you live in here. Uh, do I assume that you have a master's degree in, uh, or a doctorate <laughs> in this uh, <laughs> this kind of work? Well, that's the other phenomenon. And um, before I answer that question, let me ask you a question. You've been out there interviewing people all over the United States, all over the world on network marketing. And I'm not knocking people, because I'll, I'll get to that in a bit, but do you feel like they look like they have master's degrees? You know, it's such a job, to say, it's such a job to say these days. I mean, I did graduate from MIT, but that's Mexican Institute of Technology. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gathering that the answer to the question is, is no, you don't have that. You've just gone ahead and, and learned what you have to learn yourself. Is that, and, exactly. and, and, and I will say that that's absolutely not putting anybody down because I don't think uh, well, I'm not, Bill Gates or Steve Jobs, they, they, they all they, dropped out they of college. Dropped out, I dropped they, out of right. college. Right. Um, this has nothing to do with education. Right. You know, people, you know, people that are driven, you can put them in any environment that they're, they're going to succeed. And I am not knocking education, but the bottom line is, I honestly believe that education or higher education is not for everybody. You have to follow your passion. And a lot of times people go to school because they feel they have to or that, you know, their, their brothers and sisters did. But you look out in this industry and, you know, the, the people that, in the, that you see out there all the time that are making these huge amounts of money, most of them were college dropouts or high school dropouts. And that's what frustrates people that have higher education because, you know, to a certain degree, you feel jaded because the system told you, go to school, you know, go to high school, then go to college and, you know, and then, and then go on and, and work in corporate America. Well, what has corporate America done today? Mm. You know, what about the guy that put in 40 years over at General Motors mm. and just got a pink slip and said, hey, sorry, buddy, you know, we don't have any money. And we and don't have a retirement plan. And we don't have a retirement plan. What about all those yeah. people that lost money in their 401ks? Yeah. It, it has nothing to do with education. In my other businesses, I've had people that have worked for me, up, up to four people that have worked for me that all had master's degrees. And yet I dropped out of college. And I'm sitting there looking at them and, you know, I, I love them to death, but it's like they, they reach a point in their lives. And unfortunately, a lot of people, this happens around their 40s. They realize, you know, they either went through a divorce or death or something, and you know, and, or they got laid off, and they realize, wow, I just spent 20, 30 years doing this, and it really didn't pay off. So what I told my kids was that whether you get a degree or not, you need to strive to be in that top 20 percent, whatever trade that you're in. Mm. I don't care if it's photography, I don't care if it's, you know, you, you want to be a personal trainer. Um, just be the best. You want to be a surgeon? Try to be in that top 20%. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not in that top 20%, you'll realize after 40 years of working that you just threw away your life. Mm -hmm. And then you're out there looking for a plan B. So then you're scrambling. You're scrambling to make up that money you lost or, you know, to, you know, you, or maybe you never put away any money into retirement. And you see that all the time. When we're out there doing presentations, you know, whether it's a pre home presentation, whether it's maybe 15, 20 people, or we're doing the huge hotel events where there's maybe 500, 1,000, or 3,000 people, I always walk up to people and ask them, I wanna, I wanna get inside their head, I wanna find out wh what's their background, because that helps me teach other people. And it's amazing. Most of them are, you know, a lot of them are frustrated with their, with their employment, and um, they come to the, 
they've come to the point where they've redefined their why. And a lot of times, most of them didn't even have a why. They don't even know why they're doing it. <laughs> and they forget about it. And that happens a lot of times when we're kids. Think about it. When you're a kid, everybody's telling you, oh, you can be anything you want to be. You want to be an astronaut, Johnny? You can, Johnny, you can be an astronaut. You want to be a fireman? What happens is you start getting older into high school. Stop that. You can't do this. Right. You can't do that. Right. And then what happens is that they start funneling them, funneling them into the system that, you know, it doesn't work for everybody. Think about it. Why is it that people come from other countries over here and after five or six years, their kids are going off to Harvard mm. and they can barely speak English? And unfortunately, unfortunately, a lot of times you get people here, they get jealous of that. Or they'll make stupid remarks like, well, they must have owned, owned an oil company or something like that. Well, what they didn't see was that for the last 10 years, they were living in the back of that liquor store. Mm. Or they're living in the back of that little food mart in, you know, inside the gas station you know, in environments that are unhealthy. But someone told them, look, follow this system you know, for enterprise. And if you follow the system like this other guy did, you'll make money. But in this industry, a lot of times people don't. They don't follow a system. They get lazy. So it, again, it boils down to mindset. Mindset and the why. And the why. Keep, and keeping it in your mind, I guess, at, uh, at all times, just never losing, never losing sight of the goal. You have to want it. It doesn't matter if you have any money or not. If, if you don't have any money, there's people out there that will sponsor you. If, you, if you're passionate enough and, and you're willing to put in that time, we have an angel program that we promote that we also do through nonprofits and stuff like that where I'll find distributors that will sponsor someone that doesn't have the money. If they have the desire and they're willing to put in that time, I'll find someone that'll pay for their, for their membership to give them a leg up. But they have to want it bad enough. So that's basically it? You that's have it. to want it? You have to want it. 